in this illustration, we will discuss about toppling of a prism. Here we are given that an equilateral prism of mass m rests on a rough horizontal surface with coefficient of friction mu, and a horizontal force f is applied on prism as shown in figure. And it is saying if sufficient friction is present on ground so that prism does not slide before toppling, we are required to find the minimum force f required to topple the prism about an edge. So, here first we draw the free body diagram of this prism on the surface. Here at the center, the weight of prism would be acting, and at the top, the rightward force F is there. And we can see if it topples, then it will rotate about the rightmost edge of this prism. Now, in this situation, for toppling the prism, the torque applied by force must be more than the torque applied by the weight. And here the distance of a line of action of weight from one end is A by 2. And the height of this prism at which the force is acting is root 3 A by 2. Now we can write to topple the prism. We should have the torque applied by the force should exceed the torque due to the weight mg. So, in this situation, about the bottom edge, we can say the torque due to the force is F multiplied by root 3 A by 2. This should exceed mg multiplied by A by 2. And simplifying this is giving us F should be greater than mg by root 3. That should be the result of this problem for which the prism will topple if sufficient friction is present.